probably the best advice that I got early in my SEO career was, you know, when something happens and you, you see the drop in traffic, take a deep breath and don't panic because, you know, it, it could come back in a couple of days time. And so, you know, that, that it, it's about not panic, you know, don't panic into action. Don't, don't start going, oh, I'll hack off my links or I'll, you know, redesign the site or whatever. Work out what the problem is and then, then fix it. Good stuff. So this is an ex-Googler who set up a, a custom-made shoe site and they rank number one for custom-made shoes because they're getting votes from real people who are in their market, so related sites, related themed market sites. Um, don't fall for the .edu, .gov link scam. It's a scam. Um, it doesn't matter. They're getting links from the right places on those sites. Most of the links, look at this, 4,100 links to their site are the home page. The next most popular page on their site is 75 links. That's, a, that's an amazing ratio of home page to you know, popular pages. They've got a couple of other popular pages and then some, some you know, they get one or two or seven links. What's interesting with this case study with uh, Shoes of Prey, having a look at it, like this guy used to work in the he Google in team. Google. Yeah. Now obviously they sign a whole lot of things, you know, they're not allowed to They have to the, forget the algorithm when they walk out the door. But or, I mean, if you're gonna model anyone, how about you model someone that was working in the biz and understands um, and then it's interesting to look at their profile and the way that their site is built up and he's ranking for some very competitive keywords. Still? Yeah, Still yeah, yeah. Back yep. yeah. Um, just look a quick, quick question. Um, yeah. I've seen that one, that, well, I think it was on D Dijon SEO yeah. or something, yeah. he analyzed yeah. that one. Um, and the guys from Shoe of Praise actually said that they didn't pay any attention to SEO. Yeah. So he said you didn't, yeah. you didn't build any links. Best yeah. SEO, don't do SEO. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Anchor text, look at this. Brand, URL, URL, other images. URL, URL, brand, something I don't know how to read, and brand. Ranks for custom-made shoes. How does he do that? Well, he's got 18 links with custom-made shoes at the start of the anchor, and how's he got that? It's the title tag of his homepage. He's got 18 links from Delicious on it, but he's got 4,000 links to that page as well, which is probably pushing a bit of authority his I way. I think one of the big changes that we've seen with the algorithm update is now authority trumps a lot of the reputation. Yep. So if you've got a very authoritative site, you're not going to need as many backlinks with the specific keywords because you've built up the authority and then Google starts to believe what you say is true. Um, whereas previously we needed to get a whole lot of links proving that yes, this is the definitive source for this, but um, for this particular keyword. But that's where it's starting to change now. Authority um, trumps the, the reputation. So it's, it's really important to start building uh, that, that up. So key takeaways, what, what you should be doing now, um, review your user experience metrics. Look at your site, you know, uh, in terms of how long are people staying on the, on the site? How fast is it loading? Um, you know, where do they, how do they flow through your site? If they hit your landing page and they're there for you know 30 seconds, forget it. It's it's all over. You want to be um, you want to be making sure that you're engaging your users. Google can see all this stuff. Review and clean up your internal links. Essentially, what I'm suggesting, even if you haven't been hit, pretend that you have and do this stuff. Don't overdo your anchor text. Um, make sure your canonicalization is in place. We'll talk about that a bit more in the audit. And you really want to set up the trust factors. Get your authorship set up get your privacy policy, contact details, make sure your address is on there. You've got to be a real person with a real business. Review your site against the Webmaster guidelines, make sure you're not doing anything silly, and um, clean up your inbound link profile. And if you're hungry for more, uh, the Google rating guidelines, uh, you can Google it, I think you'll still find it online, I'm just saying. Uh, Google Webmaster guidelines, also good. Um, John Muller, Dave mentioned, uh, the Webmaster Hangouts, they're fantastic. Like if you want to listen to guys that just talk about this stuff all the time, uh, really good. And uh, if you are into analytics, or you want to get into analytics, this guy is a genius. And if you ever get a chance to see him speak, he's one of the most engaging speakers I've ever seen. Uh, runs a blog called Occam's Razor, Avinash Koshik.